Hey, Ange. Hey, Les. How are you? You look like you have a Colgate smile. Cheesy, cheesy. That's because the 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 red lipstick is so mm, such a contrast. I have red lipstick too. You do reddish? No, oh, yeah. it's burgundy. Reddish. Right? It's burgundy, mm -hmm. but it's not ruby woo. It's not ruby woo. Neither is this. Oh, that's this yeah, is yeah yeah yeah. Ruby woo is a little brighter. It's redder. It's yeah. It's like an orangey red. This is more like a blue red. Like what I'm wearing, Hoppy Catter. Mm. I'm such a biter. You're so, so are. That's Welcome okay. to another episode of Black Boomer Besties from Brooklyn. Brooklyn! The Burgundy Lipstick Edition. Oh my gosh. Leslie, that's so corny. Don't okay. be corny. Okay. okay. Listen. Don't do it. That's me. That's who I am. No, it's not true. Not so, true. Ange, I want to spend some time this episode talking yes. about something that you do. Yes. Uh, you talk to me what? about it often. Yes. It fulfills you. And it's uh, not something that I could ever see myself doing. Uh, okay. That could be a hundred things. <laughs> um. That could be 105 things. Yeah. It could be. It could um, be. But so you, I have to. You, yeah. yeah. Wake up every morning. Yes. I do you, wake up every morning. <laughs> and, but there's something you do. And you lead a group of people, uh, of mm -hmm. writers. Of people who write. Of people who write. Yes. Writers. Okay. And you all spend time writing every morning. Okay. Let me explain. Is it more than that? It is more than that. And you okay. challenge me on writers versus people who write. There's a mm. difference. Okay. You can talk about that okay. too. Okay. So what and is it that you're, you're doing? What? It, why? Okay. Let me explain. Yes. So here's the thing. First of all, guess who can no longer say, I'm not a morning person? Finally. This chick right here. Finally. That don't mean that don't mean I'm open for your phone calls early in the morning. It's okay because I'm working okay. in the morning. So I'm just I ain't yeah. got time mm -hmm. for you. You're right. I'm saving here's lives at 7 a.m. <laughs> so First thing is we label ourselves so much. We mm. limit ourselves so much. You're right. Because once you, you know, label, if you don't personally identify with that label, then you feel like an outsider or an imposter. That's deep. Well, the Ooh. thing is that this it's 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 like so many other things where we we say we're this and it kind of locks us in. This is not a bad thing. It's Sometimes just a it thing. Can be. It can be, of course, but it's mm -hmm. just a thing to recognize, right? Like, I always think about this. I never thought Smart. I could give up rice. It doesn't mean that I don't eat rice occasionally, but I'm a Jamaican. We eat rice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, I could do rice and gravy, rice and butter. Yeah. yeah. I don't even need to. Amari says the same thing. I'm like, what okay. do you have with the rice? He's like, what do you need to have with rice? <laughs> <laughs> that's like, because okay. he has a Panamanian. <laughs> yeah, 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 Panamanian yeah. inside. Yeah. Okay. So, and I gave up rice when I um, started eating a low carb diet years ago. Um, mm -hmm. But I never thought it was something that I could do until you do it. That yeah. is the thing. You never think something can be done until it's done, right? So many yeah. examples of that. Yeah, so okay. many, many, many examples. So I have been doing a morning writing practice for a few years now. Mm -hmm. And what that looks like is um, I wake Stop up. right there. Let yes. me tell you what it looks like to me oh, from boy. the outside. Okay. All right. 
All right, Les, how you doing? <laughs> um, I, I can't talk to you too much because I got to get to my writing. I haven't done my writing yet. Or it's 12 o'clock. It's like, man, I have to get to my writing. I can't get my day going until I get my writing done. And I'm like, what? Are you writing a book? Are you writing a novel? What is it? <laughs> no, I, I got to get my writing. So I don't know. Well, of course, I was going to say, I don't know if you remember. Of course you remember. But you and Daryl actually told me about this book, The Artist's Way. And we yes. can put that in the, in the notes for people who are interested. Yes. But yes. is that how it started? Like, where did this start? That is how it started. I, I'm going to say that that is... Um, that's where the um, where I first learned about a writing a daily writing practice. I have not referred back to what I do now to see how aligned it is to that. So mm. I'll only I'll only mention it in that way that that's how this um, my knowledge about this ha this um, being a practice came mm -hmm. about. Um, I'm sure it's now Angela's, <laughs> Angela's way, not the mm. artist's way. But what it is for me is stream of consciousness writing where I set a definite ending, a start and end. So I write three pages of a full size um, um, eight and a half by 11 three pages every morning. And it's not journaling because I'm not, you know, trying to be, have any preciseness or um, I'm not even thinking about referring back to my writing. I take off. That's another I, thing that I'll bring up when you yeah. finish. I'll I take off anything that could obstruct honest, free, um, uh, clear writing. And for me, since I grew up in a household where locking doors was unheard of, privacy, no. My parents had access to everything. And even if they didn't take advantage of that, me with my you to Americanized self, I always felt a little funny keeping a diary and so on. So maybe that's kind of some internal stuff, mm, but mm -hmm. I, so one of the things that I um, have taken out of this writing that I do is that I don't keep what I write because I knew that for me, that would obstruct how freely I wrote. And so I write these pages. I and use they're like them. single spaced pages and, like, yeah, but listen, like it's this an assignment, is... you know, like in the second grade when you were, you had to, uh, <laughs> you were punished. I will not forget my homework. I will not forget. Like, what the fuck, first of all, <laughs> what kind of punishment is that to give a child? It's like, it's, I, oh I've done it a few God. times actually. And they say, you yeah. got to write two pages of, I will not forget my homework. It's like, yeah. Come on now. Is that the most creative well, you can get to get me to remember to do my homework? But anyway. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Anyway. So yeah, you so, do these this writing. So I do this writing and it has transformed me. It has been the it has been the at the at the core of so much that has changed about me. Um mm. Because I am honest, I talk through challenges, I talk to God, I ask questions, I get answers. And, I, oh my gosh, you are, things. I mean, obviously you're so right, but you don't know how much you pepper your conversations with me about in my writing today, it was revealed to me. And yeah. do you know what came out in my writing today? Mm -hmm. And- I was wondering, and it presented itself, and this, and I'm like. So how do you feel about that as the receiver of that? What what does that? It's fascinating <laughs> to me 
But you know, I just prefaced it by saying, and why would I limit myself in this way? But I'm wondering too. I said that this is not something that I could ever do. Yeah, you did say that. And I could list out like from the beginning of last year to the end of last year, all so many things you've done that you said you would never do. Oh, isn't that interesting? Let me ask you something though. Mm -hmm. I think I know the answer, but I want you to tell me why if, if all the questions and answers and conversations are in your head and this mm -hmm. writing is just for you, Mm -hmm. why do you need to take it from here to the paper? What does the okay. transfer do for you? Sure. Well, it it's not only for me, it's what the brain does, what it does as humans. Um, it There is a, um, I don't know if this is named, but there is something that happens with the brain when it sees something versus when it's just kind of thinking it. It almost makes it real and mm. allows it to process it better mm. when you, when and, you see and it. And if I remember anything about like college psychology or it mm. could even could be neural behavior, if um, the, the actual writing process, it's like if you, if you employ two different medium, Sensor. media uh -huh. or senses, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm it has a different effect than a single one. So the Correct. physical writing on the paper, and then yeah. I guess the visual seeing of the writing right. has a different effect, I suppose, than just, yeah. ooh. It does. And one thing for sure that it does is um, oftentimes when things are just going around in your head, they seem so big and like, oh. I can, I'll never get the answer. I'll never figure that out. Or this will always be a bother. Oh, this again. Oh. Mm. And when you write it, it's like, it was nothing. That was nothing. And you don't know how fascinating put, this is. It just puts it in perspective because um, I, I don't know all the reasons why. All I know is that it is. And it must be something that is um, working and working exceptionally well for me because what I have done recently is I've invited people to join me in my writing and my morning writing. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. because I wanted to um, give folks an opportunity to do this before they went to work, we start at eight in the morning. We used to do seven 30 and then we agreed that we could move it to eight so now How I'm making sure that for? I'm up. Um, we write for 30 minutes. Sometimes um, I will check in. I set the timer at 825 and I see if people want to write for an extra five minutes. So then I set it for 835 and that's as long as we go. Because here's the thing. I, whatever, um, whatever um, stop point you define for yourself is not important, but you need a stop point. You need that hit of dopamine that says you accomplished your writing or your whatever, your exercise or mm. whatever it is that you that finished. been completed. Correct. And so for me, it's three pages. Um, and so when that is done, I, I have this little thing that I do. I say, hasta mañana morning writing. That's how I end it. And I'm done. Um, and so I've invited people to join me. Tomorrow mm -hmm. is um, the last day of the first month that we've done it. But because I'm going to be away um, next week, I'm still going to write, but I couldn't commit to a particular time because I don't know what my days are going to be like. Mm -hmm. But we're starting back up again on January 22nd. So if anyone wants to join, um, we will put a link and I'm going to, this is, this is what I do. It's not, you know, the timing is, is new because I didn't always do it at the same time every morning, but even doing that, it's this other thing. 
oh, I could never do that. I'm not a morning person. I'm doing it. Okay. The, Stop right there. A so couple crazy. things because I'm just, it's, my head is swirling with questions. <laughs> what? If you can be as clear as you can be. Sure. What do you get out of this? Okay. I'm going to repeat some things, but I'm going to say them a little like, slower because hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say them a little slower because sometimes you people hear things and either it's not believed or it is, oh, but it's got to be more than that. Or why is that important? Let me say one mm -hmm. thing. Okay. Okay. When I write and I have a question, it could be a big question. God, why do I feel this way? And I write that through and get an answer? That is huge. And no one can tell me that that's not huge. Mm. What it has taught me is that our answers are inside and we look for them every other place. We would rather not have answers than to seek them inside. And be, yeah, be quiet and listen for the answer. Exactly, exactly. Ooh. And so if I get that type of thing, you know, whatever, let's say I get that once a year, that's huge to me. I get it much more mm. often than that, but so it's things like that. It's things like, um, you know, I have to make a decision and I'm writing, but I don't, I don't start out writing, oh, what is the decision I have to make? Whatever comes to my mind, I write it out. Is it stream of consciousness? It is completely stream of consciousness for me. Yes. Yeah. And I'm not sure whether that is so with the artist way practice, but for me, it's stream of consciousness. It what comes to mind. It is. Um, um, I almost don't even pick up my my pen. I don't stop writing, even if I'm thinking, "Oh, I wonder what's next. What's what am I thinking about?" I write that. What am I thinking about? And then the thought comes, and that's what I write. What am I thinking about? The thought comes. Oh, crazy. So, do um, you ever like get to page one and like, "Oh my gosh, I can't." Fill another page or two. Not anymore. That used to happen to me. And what is um what what that does, and, and that is kind of setting your your commitment for how, how much um you're gonna write is important because when you do push through and uh, you know, you can write, I made this commitment, so I'm gonna keep writing. Mm -hmm. You then keep writing. Because yeah. you're thinking, you are never existing without thinking about something. So this idea you have that and look, this is so this is so <laughs> you're just, fucking you just you just write it out. You're just too damn okay. busy. Okay. You're too willing. You're too willing to to let um, me just tell <laughs> remind you of the experience I have when you push me to do such things, right? Of a couple times and over the years, obviously, <laughs> you've said, you know, Les, do a brain dump, right? Yes. Or you you said, <laughs> I need you to come up with 25 ways that we're going to do such and such. It was related yeah. to the podcast. Right. I got to three and I was <laughs> done. I was just done. But Les, then you kept going. And because you kept pushing me and exactly. you kept pushing me. And rather exactly. than punch you, I just said, OK, <laughs> I'm just going to keep going. Uh, what? what a struggle. I mean, it's like I never think that there is more in there. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that is there. Another of the many things I like about this practice is because it teaches you so much about yourself. Right. Impatience. Just, impatience discipline or lack thereof exactly you know um committing to something that is relatively this is not you always say you you do hard things you went to medical school and you can't write for 30 minutes <laughs> what who, who do you want to believe that all right that's what just fool? between me and you what? 
<laughs> what fool do you want to believe that? Not this fool. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Mm. No, ma'am. And so, uh, all right. Um, I have a yeah. couple more questions. Oh Lord, what yes. Or the other people in your group, what are their experiences? What feedback are you getting from them? So a couple of things I'll say, um, this is a writing, this is writing time. This is not talking time, right? Oh, so I couldn't be in a group. Whatever, whatever. You know me, I'd be interrupting. <laughs> I'd be like, wait, wait, excuse me. Uh, you know me how I am. I can't be quiet for too long. So there, so there, there's that I can't again. Really? Mm -mm. Um, so there, this is what we do. It starts at eight. I invite them in. I put three prompts in the chat. And that's mm. just, they don't have to use them just if they get stuck. Cause I was thinking about my girl, Les, if they get stuck and they need a little help, they can use one of the prompts. And there's things like, um, yesterday dot 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 or um who knew dot 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 Ooh. or um what's another one um i thought dot 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 so there i give three of them and i put them in the chat and then if we have any um quick things to say within the first um one to three minutes and then i say right on and uh -huh. our cameras are on, but I we all go on mute. I set the timer for 825, and then we write. Wow, this is something else. Um, and I will say that one, um, some of what I've heard is, like you've expressed, I never thought I could do this. Um, and th these are people who agreed. I didn't ask. Christmas morning? New Year's morning, we were up at eight o'clock writing. And they've do, never done anything like this before. Uh, do do <laughs> any of them aspire to be writers or do they say why they've joined you in your practice? Um, no aspiring writers. Um, I believe they have joined me because they know the kind of work that I do. These are people who just, I don't know, either they follow me on social media or mm -hmm. they're on my email list. So they kind of see what I talk about. And mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I get people to think a little more deeply than, than the surface. And I certainly do. And so I think they were just interested in mm -hmm. pushing themselves in whatever um, areas of their life. They're... Yeah. 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 And I think that is, um, it's like when you do something that you thought you couldn't do and you commit to it and then wow, you're it doing it, so good. you can, you can do that with anything. You feel like you could do anything. Like if exactly. it's like, if you do this hard thing, I'm exactly. not even sure why this is so foreign to me. This is this it's, I might as well get in a spaceship and go to Venus. <laughs> Then sit and do don't this practice go, that you're referring don't go to. to Venus. I can't even imagine this is something that I would be able to do. You know what this is Isn't akin that crazy? to? Les, you know what this I is? I mean, akin I've to graduated me? from high school, from college, I got a master's degree, I graduated from medical school. I cannot and then see you, myself you... writing three pages of stream of consciousness. Yeah. Isn't that Oof. something? Yeah. And imagine, imagine if you did, meaning imagine if you broke through this, I can't, or I mm. don't, that's not for me. Mm -hmm. You know, it may not be, but did you even try? Can I be honest with you about one other thing? Please, always. I find it a little fearful. Like, mm. I'm, wow. I don't react like that. No, I mean, <laughs> I'm interested. Now I'm interested. <laughs> I would I would be a little bit reticent, I'll say, to see what it is that has come, that is in the subconsciousness or sub, what comes out. Interesting. Isn't that weird? I'm going to ask you something. 
I'm going to ask you something before you ask me. Okay. In your personal practice, you write, I understand because I've actually seen you write. Mm -hmm. um, do you re reread everything before you go, before you toss it? No. Just to review it or you just write and that's, and I'm not reading back and then it's over. No, I just Once read it's back. Out, it's over. Yeah, because a couple of things, the, 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 the value for me is in the writing. It's not in the re reading because it's, if I, if I had not been writing this, these were thoughts that weren't saved anywhere. They, they just came to my mind. Mm -hmm. They weren't. And you don't you know, worry about grammar or punctuation oh no, or no, you just write words. None of that. None of that at all. I just write. And I do use grammar because that's how I've been trained. And I use, are, yeah. I use commas and semicolons and things like that. I rarely cross out. Um, but I just kind of keep writing. Um, but the thing is that what you said about your fears about mm -hmm. this, they are still there. And they're bigger, probably in your head than they are when you write them. Mm. But you, I, and I don't mean this in a negative way at all, right? But consider that you would rather hold on to them than to let them go. Yeah. And in the writing process, you are letting it go? Yeah, you're letting them go because you're you're facing it. You and can't... admitting that it's there because now it's on paper. It's now it's on now it's on paper. Now it's but... tangible and real. Yeah, but here's the thing: it's 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 that, but but not quite. The process of shaping a thought enough to get it from your head to your hand onto paper is a processing you're doing some processing there right so you you, you understand Thinking about this i'm getting exhausted <laughs> <laughs> leslie we're right so, now we are so I'm different really, like, so loud. The... <laughs> what's wrong with me i'm struggling no. through this conversation you know what i'm getting ready to start sweating <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, please, I cannot. You're gonna it's you're like gonna I'm working, I'm working this. <laughs> wow. My reaction to this is even a little surprising to me, but it's it's it's, it's something. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're thinking these things anyway. What harm can there be in getting them out and just writing them? You're right, because it's no less real if it's not written. It's, it's actually probably it's still there. It's still there, and it's probably not as big a issue or whatever. You know, I shouldn't say that. That's but, not. But let me the case. let me I'm just say this. That, yeah, you said it's still there, but mm -hmm. I know this is going to sound wacky, but mm -hmm. I don't know, or one doesn't know what's there until it mm -hmm. comes out and written in a stream of consciousness. Let me just say this. I know with, this is a weird association, but you probably can re re relate. I know with people who have mental illness, mm -hmm. very often, and someone said this to me before, that they don't like the quiet mm -hmm. because they really don't want to be alone with their thoughts mm -hmm. so they prefer mm -hmm. more external stimuli right right um right. just so that they are not alone with those thoughts that might be intrusive or troubling or whatever and Understand. in a way this is mm -hmm. kind of what it's making me think of mm -hmm. you know forcing um ideas or thoughts that may be unpleasant or whatever mm -hmm. or facing mm -hmm. it you know it's mm -hmm. it's it's interesting you know yeah I, the thing that came to mind for me and you know i we we both i um, see a therapist um and 
I know that you have. Um, and it's not the therapy as an example is not just there for crises, right? Mm. Writing mm. isn't just there for when you're, you know, when you're having a bad day or whatever. Mm-hmm. I write all the time. I write you when write I'm joyful. I write when I'm, you know, when I'm, when I'm sad, I write when I'm confused. I, so it's all of those things. It's not, I don't only write. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm Leslie. Really sweating. What the heck? This, I got to explore this reaction. <laughs> to be continued. <laughs> Wow, yeah. and I know. Oh, it's, okay. It's so so we're going to put all of this information about your writing practice in our, in the notes. Okay, I know you would love to have people join you. Sure. We'll give them information on how to do that. Yep. And could you imagine if they see me in there on the silently writing also joining you? Wouldn't that be something? They're like, they would be in shock. They would be in shock. I'd be in shock. (laughs) I'd be in shock. But anyway, um, wow, and that's that's powerful. It is really powerful. It's powerful. Thank you. you. I'll take that. that, that Thank you. Something that you do. Thank you. It helps me be a better person in the world. It almost sounds like uh, meditative a bit, you know? Yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Um, All right, Les. Okay. Well, this has been an interesting episode of Black Boomer Besties from Brooklyn. Brooklyn! <laughs>